So I'm just going to show you here how I do my blood flow restriction training or occlusion training. And I got these tourniquets off of Amazon. Um, they're like two bucks, I think. <laughs> they make wrapping, quote unquote, your arms so much easier. And I'm just tightening them to about a six out of a 10. It kind of took me a little bit to get adjusted to how they feel. Um, they look a lot tighter than they feel. So I'll snap them in place. I'm just showing you, you know, where you put them at the bottom of your deltoid, top of your bicep. You want to use about 50% of your typical 10 rep max weight. So it's going to feel really light at first, but your first set is 30 reps. So you'll see me suffer through those. And again, it kind of takes a minute to try it out and see what weight is good for you. It might not be exactly 50%. Remember, it's all about the contraction. So you really want to focus on the squeeze rather than the eccentric negative phase. Don't let it swing, of course, but you just kind of shake it out. Wait your 30 seconds. I just count in my head, so. Your hands shouldn't be tingling. You know, your arms shouldn't feel like they're gonna explode or anything, but you should feel them pumped. The pump is just insane. So I just sped it up a little bit here because obviously it takes a minute, but I like to do the, this is my favorite way to do the bicep BFR, starting out neutral and then supinating at the top and really, really turning that pinky up to the ceiling, really feeling a good bicep contraction there. I love the vascularity too. And it, it carries over for overall vascularity for when you take the tourniquets off too. So here I just finish up and I show you my second and third sets of 12 to 15. I think on my last set I got 11. Um, and then I pop them off, they're so simple. Um, and I do these at the very end of my back training. Um, I do another bicep exercise before this that's not BFR. But I typically end my bicep workout with uh, BFR. If you have any questions, just let me know.